The Boy Scouts of America is one of the largest youth organizations in the United States with more than 2.4 million youth members and nearly 1 million adult volunteers. Since its founding in 1910 as part of the International Scout Movement, more than 110 million Americans have been at some point members of the BSA. Hello, you boy in the corner there. You ought to be a Boy Scout. You're a fine-looking fella, and I know you would make a jolly good backwoodsman by the look of you. You're ugly enough anyway. And you girl there, no, I don't mean you. I mean the pretty one behind you. You ought to be a girl guide, you know. Oh, you are one. Oh, I beg your pardon. That's quite right. Now go on and tell all your pals to come and be girl guides like you. I'm very glad to see you there. Thank you all. Good luck to you. And I wish we may meet again. Thank you. Now I'll say a word to you who are parents. We try to make these boys and girls into what we call the three H's. That is, happy, healthy, helpful citizens. And you will find if you send your boys and girls to the scout or guide movement, we help the schools. They teach them knowledge in order to succeed in their examinations and so on, and we teach them character so that they may succeed in life. The man you just saw talking was Robert Baden Powell, the curator and founder of the Boy Scouts. Um, he was from London, England, and he was an army general, and he fought in the Boer Wars of Africa. He made a book for some of his uh, military men, and it was called Scouting and it got back to England and some kids started using his book to go in the woods and thus scouting was created. Okay, uh, my name is Rick Kunzeman. I'm uh, an assistant scoutmaster with Troop 29 here in Durand, Illinois. And I've uh, just simply been asked to uh, kind of give my perspective about uh, Boy Scouts here in, in uh, our local area. Uh, my personal experience with uh, scouting began as a youth about eight years old, was in the Cub Scout program, and uh, went through that three years, all the ranks, and had the privilege of earning the Earl of Light, which is Cub Scouts' um, highest, highest rank award available. In Boy Scouts, once I moved up into that, I was there from 11 years old on up through 18, or to 18, I should say, and uh, also had the privilege of earning the Eagle Scout rank. And, and even better was I had the opportunity to work with some really fine adult leaders, uh, principally my Scout Master, first Scout Master, um, who really gave uh, our troop a, a good foundation of how a Scout troop should run. And, and, he understood how boys interacted with each other and uh, really made it a, a great place to be, a great great troop to be part of. Um, following that, spent a little bit of time with Assistant Scoutmaster, Scoutmaster, then spent about 20 years out of scouting until uh, my younger son wanted in back in 1998. And so once he joined up, I joined back up again and have been with Troop 29 since. And so it's the better part of 20 years. Most of my tenure has been an assistant scoutmaster, I've spent some time as a committee chairman, and uh, kind of just mix and match in different duties as, and trying to fulfill the needs of the troop from that perspective. And uh, been involved with the OA, the Order of the Earl, for a little bit, and was privileged to uh, receive the Vigil Honor Award, which is the highest award in, uh, in the Order of the Earl. I've spent some time with the district and, and a couple council activities, uh, district camperies, um, religious retreat, and also with the NYLT course for uh, seven summers. And it was a, a great privilege to, to be course director in 2011. So my own experience is pretty varied uh, as a youth and as an adult leader, and it's, uh, it's always been a privilege to be part of what I believe is one of the finest youth organizations in the world. This Boy Scout troop is based in Durand, Illinois. They have meetings once a week, every week, almost every week of the year. In 
in this particular meeting, the troop was split into two, with one group talking about some plans for the future, the other group going out to simulate a ice rescue. In Boy Scouts, most leaders, we let the youth run the meeting. They sit and make sure nobody gets hurt. It seems to me that the general um, view of Boy Scouting has kind of not been as strong in these last few years as it had been um, earlier in, in Scouting's history here in the United States once it got up and going real well. But uh, and I think it's just people don't really understand what Scouting is about. Um, so I think it's as it's, it's the population has grown and diversified in that, that Scouting has kind of taken a back seat to probably um, uh, a view in society's perspectives and things like that. Um, I would simply say um, give your youth, your, your young men and, and uh, your young, young ladies who can join a venturing crew uh, the opportunity to join scouting, uh, it's the opportunity to learn some citizenship skills, uh, to be exposed to outdoor camping and skills in, in just a variety of different places. and. Um, since our country is, is such a diverse uh, habitat, natural habitat, there's just tons of different ways that, uh, that youth can, can spend time in the outdoors together, uh, learning to be friends, learning to um, improve their outdoor skills, and learning how to get along with one each other and, and lead each other, uh, as well as themselves. Boy Scouts is no longer an organi organization just for boys. There's now an organization called Venturing. It is for, it's a co-ed organization for boys and girls ages 14 to 21. Anybody can join. Boy Scouts is offered to anybody ages 18 to 11. So simply, um, I would say, um, give your, your youth a chance to be involved in scouting. Um, hopefully they'd be in a, in a unit that uh, that works well or is developing into a, a strong unit according to the principles of scouting and let your youth see what they can do. Um, let them open the doors and, and just uh, take the ball and run with it and see how far they can go. So it's, it's a great opportunity within a, within a structured program for, for youth to grow and, and to learn who they are and, and what they can do uh, both individually and as a group together. As to why an individual might want to join scouting is the outdoor program is a, is a large part of scouting and it's a big draw for young people, uh, both girls and boys alike. Uh, there's something about being in uh, the outdoors that, that is just really neat. It, it really helps you begin to understand who you are as an individual. And uh, I think all of our youth need to have that kind of a kind of an opportunity and uh, it just seems to me that a good solid outdoor program as well as the, the merit badge program, the different advancement ranks in scouting, um, all lend into people, young people who can grow into being very fine adults and to be very great contributors to our, uh, to our country and our society. So that's a, just a few thoughts of mine on scouting. In these shots, the boys are playing dodgeball. In the winter, we really cannot do a lot of outdoor activities due to the cold and snow. So I'm Bear and we're on one of our scouting weekends racing around loads of different camps all across around London and the South East.
Scouting in three words, uh, that's easy. Inspire, encourage, and adventure.